president's advisors leave the White House after an important session. Vice President Garner comes out looking pleased, a sign that everybody worked hard. Secretary of the Treasury Wooden hastens back to his office happy and confident. And here's Attorney General Cummings, named to fill the place of the late Senator Walsh. Secretary of Agriculture Wallace on the left and Secretary of the Navy Swanson face the flashlights together when they leave. Then the cabinet's first lady emerges, Frances Perkins, Secretary of Labor, who wishes to be known as Madam Secretary. She is followed by Secretary of War Dern from Utah, who now runs the army and looks out for national defense. Secretary of the Interior Ickes, also anxious to get back to work after the conference. Secretary of Commerce Roper is next. His department may take over added duties in a government reorganization to save money. The ranking cabinet officer, Secretary of State Cordell Hull, the man who handles all our foreign affairs. Postmaster General James Farley, who dispenses patronage, goes to meet thousands of job hunters.